What up, what up, people? Man, if y'all thinking about getting a wicker bill for the uh for the scat pack charger or whatever kind of charger you got with you got Hellcat, a scat pack, or whatever charger you got. If you if you thinking about getting a wicker bill, pay close attention when you install it because I ran into some problems, you know what I'm saying? Like not with the installation, the installation went smooth, but the way I installed it, you gotta make sure you put a bigger gap on the wicker bill. Because once the wind hit it, the downforce will hit your paint and could damage your paint. And I got a little damage, but it's nothing it's nothing I can't fix. You know. I'ma uh, go ahead and show you the damage. So I'm at the car wash getting the car all clean and whatnot. So I'm wiping it down, open the trunk, and that's when I noticed it. As you can see. The wicker bill hit right there. I mean, I could probably buff that away, but I'm not sure. It looked like it's damaging the paint. It's on the other side too. Right here. Like I was saying, you have to lift that up a little bit. When you, when you install it. So my remedy to fix this is I either drill some holes, some slotted holes in the wicker bill to set it higher, or I like the low, how it's sitting so low right now. So what I do is buff away the scuffs, get the paint back right. If I got to get some, uh, get the little paint pens and fix it, but that's no big deal. It's small, you can, you can barely see it. But to fix the problem, I thought about getting some rubber gaskets I don't know, attach some little rubber, small rubber grommets to the wicker bill. So when I step on the gas, it'll hit on the actual rubber pieces. You know what I'm saying? Have a little flex and it won't be straight fiberglass to my paint to mess it up even further. So that's how I plan on fixing, man. It's just a little, just little things you learn like that. So I can let y'all know so y'all won't make the same mistakes. So. If you ever install one, I got an installation video, but I went like the depth of a penny. When you close my trunk, it don't touch the paint at all. It's perfect. But what I'm thinking is when I hit the gas, like I said, it's doing what it's supposed to do. The wind push, you know what I'm saying? Give you that extra downforce, but then that's making it hit the paint. So once I put the spacers in, add the spacers, then I'll buff away, you know what I'm saying? Get the paint back right like it is with either, I'm gonna try to buff it away first. That should fix it. If not, like I said, use the paint pen. So I'll let you know how that turn out. Check out the kid though, check out the kid. Ooh, I like them things, boy. Damn, I like them. Bro, people really sleep on kid, bro. But I ain't one of them type of people. I don't look at name brands. If it's dope, it's just dope in my eyes, you know? And that kid's finger is was up. That thing. That that the look, the design, bro, they did their thing all the way. They they really did their thing. I would really own one. Them cars, like I see them, they really turn your head. Especially the yellow one that always drive around there. Man, them things so nice. Anyway, that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Stick around for the next one.